Hi everyone, let's begin how to solve normally distributed curves related problems. So in this curve, we can see this is normally distributed unimodal in symmetrical forms, a bell-shaped curve. You can see mu, that is mu minus sigma. Mu means that is population mean. This area represents 68% of the data and mu minus sigma and mu plus sigma, these are the limits of confidence interval. And after that mu minus 2 sigma, mu plus 2 sigma, now you can see that is 95% of the data and mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma, that is 99.7% of the data. Now I am facing one important numerical problem, how we will get the solution. Now you can see here, this is my question. Average weight of cricket balls produced in a factory is 163 grams. The measured standard deviation for the balls produced is 1.5 grams. Determine the probability of producing a ball with its 162 grams less than, I mean, this is the weight, 163 gram, uh, 162 gram, and that would be 164 grams, that would be uh, uh, greater than 163 gram, that would be 164 grams. So here is how we are going to solve this problem. That's the most important thing. So simply what we have to do, simply we are going to apply that is the formula. I'm just putting up this formula. I'm just writing this formula. Let me use my pen. In the next, uh, I think here is I'm going to write it. Z equal to, you can see that would be the mu minus x bar divided by sigma. This is my formula, how we are going to calculate. So in my case, first in, in this case, 162 gram, right? What we have to do, 162, that is 162 gram minus 163. 163 means that is the, you can see, average weight of cricket balls produced in a 163 grams divided by standard deviation and what is my standard deviation this is my standard deviation 1.5 gram divided by so now value of z is 0. Minus 0. 0.6667 let's come to this point when the weight is 163 gram right 163 3 gram that is 163 that is our average weight also so here is you can see 163 minus 163 divided by 1.5 so here is value of z equal to 0 but when we talk about 164 grams so what we have to do z equal to 164 164 right this is the value minus 163 that is our mean value and divided by 1.5, now you can see value is 0 0.06667. Now I am going to explain you that is the value. Just a moment, I am just taking. Here is, you can see, I am inserting one blank slide. Now you can see how I have to put all the values on this slide. Here is, now you can see, I'm going to take pan. This is my normally distributed curve. You can see here, this is my normal distributed curve. And this value is mu, right? And you can see here, this is the value you can see. Here is mu is 163 gram, right? And that is 162 and that is 164. And now we will compare what are our values. What are the limits you can see? Z value is 0. So that means here is 
you can see at this particular point now mean value is 163 now we would like to calculate z value at this point that is 0 and now you can see what is the z value for this 162 minus you can see minus 0.667 and at this point, you can see what is my Z value, 0 0.667. I'm sorry, triple six. One more six is here. Right, 0 0.66. And here it is, you can see 0 0.66 and 67. These are my confidence interval limits you can see. So in that way, we can define what is our acceptance region and what is our rejection region. So how we are going to solve this problem, average weight of cricket balls produced in a factory is 163 grams, the measured standard deviation for the balls produces 1.5 gram, determine the probability of producing a ball with its 162 5 grams right and that would be here is sign is less than and greater than that is weight and after that that is 164 gram so simply what we have to do we will put all these values in formula and one by one we are going to calculate and after that we can visualize this problem on the normal probability curve so i'm sure this is this problem is would be clear to you how we are going to solve so I'm, in the next video, I'm going to solve one more problem and uh, that would be a little bit complicated how we are going to calculate uh, Z value, right? So keep watching, stay tuned, thank you.